Disclaimer this video is for educational and historical purposes only. Sonoboyas Grand Champion Amadeus? By Sonoboy. Amadeus is one of four brothers, him being the smallest I instantly fell in love with him, because of his color being the same as GRCH Gritler's and carrying the Gritler mark on his neck. Some trades I learned to look for in my selection of dogs. Amadeus is an inbred yellow bolio breeding from a long line of good working dog genetics. Some of the best producing and working dogs in RSA. Amadeus came from a breeding between CH Verstrato and Jenny Rom Verstrato as a grandson of GRCH Barracuda. Jenny is also of import blood out of Riddick, a good producing male out of GRCH Amboss. In my opinion Jenny is currently one of the best producing female in RSA producing CH Boiler 3XW slash 1XL, CH Hannah Montana 3XW slash 1XL, CH Small Johns and GRCH Amadeus giving her Phi, ROM points, and still has some offspring that can add to her status. The whole litter of Jenny's littermates also produce some excellent offspring. Her brother Diablo is currently on 6 ROM points making him the third best producer in RSA. He produced dogs like GRCH Anderson the Spider Silva, CH Boda, CH Vagas, CH Braga, and CH Bear, 3X, W slash 1X GL. Amadeus pedigree can be traced down in any direction, and you would only find successful dogs that just keep on producing better and better, so it was of no surprise that he would become a good dog himself. Amadeus was a house dog, never to be schooled or matched, and did very well at shows becoming a show champion at a very young age. He matured very early. His first yard break was into his half-sister Intimidator who was six and a half heavier than him, and also had a mouth like a crocodile. She bit him good but he learned how to keep out of trouble. They went into each other till eventually Amadeus got his revenge and killed her. He went into his mother a few weeks later, she was old and did not stand a change. Dying game with a full belly of pups out of Amadeus? Some time later we were contacted by a good friend who was looking for a last schooling for his male before he takes him out. A hard biting Briscoe male for, and a half heavier than Amadeus. We agreed and traveled to them. Amadeus first real schooling, away from home. The dog looked like a tank but the whole thing was over in 15, them picking up their dog. He never made it into the box. We then knew it's time. A well-known kennel was looking for a 46 pound, male. They were planning to fight four brothers, the same night. We agreed and took up the challenge. Amadeus was a 45, but we agreed to meet at 46 as they could not come down and wait. Amadeus plus Joe Banana? Amadeus came in on 451-2, and Joe on 46.7. I agreed to go on, no forfeit taken, but I was a nerve wreck as I already lost two hard ones against them and I did not want to lose again. Joe was one monster of a dog towering over Amadeus. If I haven't seen the scale I would have thought, he is a 60-pound, dog. I told Amadeus my boy, now it's up to you, this one is going to be your test of what kind of dog you are. We were ready and ref calls for release. Joe came out hard, pushing Amadeus all over the pit. Amadeus holding on for dear life then Amadeus got second wind, while Joe ran hot. Amadeus started hitting Joe hard in the stifle and kidneys at 40. Joe was not even trying to fight back anymore. At 43 minutes his crew conceded and picked up Joe. Amadeus was not liking this, started screaming for Joe to come back but that's not going to happen. That night all the brothers lost. After the show Joe's crew asked if we were willing to take them on with their two-time winner inbred, with our own stock, out of GRCH Gritler blood. We agreed to meet in eight weeks' time. Now we need to win this one to be even, but we knew it was not going to be easy, for it's out of our own bloodline, and we did very well with that bloodline. They are very good competitors, for they themselves have a grand champion, and a few champions under their belt. We agreed to meet them on their terms and travel to them. Amadeus plus, Mustafa? Mustafa, a two-time winner. Agreed weight 46 pounds. Both dogs on weight. I knew this was going to be a hard one, for both dogs looked exactly the same. We literally ended up handling each other's dog. This was a hard match for Amadeus? Both dogs top defenders, swapping holds, feeling each other, both dogs well conditioned, and game as hell. It went on for 45. Then Amadeus got into Mustafa, 
hitting a bleeder, and it all went downwards. Mustafa's team didn't want to believe what was happening, still hoping for a comeback. But Amadeus was now playing with Mustafa, biting him all over without any resistance. It's all over at 1 o'clock. Mustafa's crew concedes the match, picking up a very game dog, making a game courtesy. Amadeus was declared a two-time winner? The talkers talked, and didn't want to believe this small dog, out of nowhere, is causing such uproar. Them being green of jealousy? Luckily, we have good friends like Mustafa's crew that always will be part of our friendship. Proud to have them on our side. Thanks guys, at least we two for two now. Amadeus was still recovering when he went into his other half-sister, out of Tudor 2, an Eli bred dog. She nearly killed him. I had to rush him to the vet to pull him trough. She caused a bad gaping hole in his shoulder and his leg. That injury did not seem to be healing because Amadeus is a basted, he don't like stitches, or combs. He takes them off, so he struggled to heal him. He also lost half his mouth in that alteration with his half-sister. If that was not bad enough, we were called out again into a one-time winner that had his eye on Amadeus. We agreed on the condition only if Amadeus don't heal enough, we would not continue. This was a revenge match they wanted to win badly, for losing into us before. We once again met them on their terms, and traveled to them. This would be Amadeus' first time to travel more than two hours. Amadeus plus Hondu? Agreed weight 46 pounds. Amadeus comes in at 45, Hondu dead on weight. Ref calls for release, Hondu immediately goes for Amadeus' leg that is still not healed up nicely, we did fear the worst, a bleeder, luckily it stops quickly. Hondu has on hull of a bite, and is very fast. Amadeus still wants to fight with the side where there's no cutters, slipping all the way, not getting any hold on Hondu? Hondu is mopping the floor with Amadeus, it seems like Amadeus met his match, 20 minutes into the show, a turn was called on Amadeus. We needed it. This was a short keep, and he was not doing too well. Running very hot, we cooled Amadeus down. He came out with a bang. Seems the break made him calm down, and take control. Hondu now pushing, and Amadeus defending for dear life. At 25 minutes Hondu started running hot. Amadeus saw this, as now or never, and started working on a down Hondu, in his kidneys, and stifle. Hondu didn't like it, and started screaming. At 34 minutes, Hondu's crew calls for Scratch to continue. We granted it. Hondu stands firm in his corner, waiting to be taken home safely, taking the 10 count. Amadeus is now declared a champion? Dog of the Year Being the end of the year it was also time for the DOY award in RSA also. The contenders were CH Wanderlei, who took on two one-time winners CH Amadeus took a one-time winner and a two-time winner CH Boiler 3x W slash 1xL but DOY is not for quitters. Boiler did not make the cut? Also in the running was Ballistic Imp, who just made ROM Sandy made GRCH. And then there were the four-time winners CH Scrap and CH Nunu, but these dogs were never even voted for. After a few well-known and active dogmen voted it was decided to award the title of DOY to CH Amadeus. It was very close between CH Wanderlei and Amadeus. Wanderlei is already a four-time winner, and I am sure he will make grand champion soon. Attempt was made to get Wanderlei to hook into Amadeus, but we could not agree on terms, for both parties did not have the ability to travel 620 miles plus. It's a pity. Anyway, challenge was made into Zara, a two-time winner at the time, but we were turned down because they were retiring him, only to go four weeks later making him a champion. Then we called out of desperation for CH Midnight, who also was at that weight, but he had a serious yard break, and was in a bad condition. He lost one of his eyes, and would never see the box again. We respected that decision, there was no one else looking, or willing to face Amadeus. Amadeus was offered to some well-known dogman for free. They should have arranged the transport? I told them this dog will make grand champion, but they apparently did not believe me, and never attempted to collect the dog. I also put him up for sale, but Fearsome advised me to reconsider. He was even offered to a lady at a show who was looking for a stud dog. Seems like he was meant to stay, and we're happy he did. We tried to get opponents for him, but nothing was available. 
so he faked his death, and all hell broke loose. Suddenly everyone had something for him, now that he is gone. We then brought him back to life, and then all the big talkers died off again. No one had his weight. Then the call came from River. They would love to go into us for one last round, at that stage they were the best kennel to beat, and we were not going to miss this opportunity. We agreed on a six-week keep. C.H. Amadeus plus the Laure, Lee Van Dye West Transvaal. Agreed weight 46 pounds. Amadeus comes in at 45 D.E.L.A. Ray on weight. This was not the first choice River had, he had another dog in mind for Amadeus, also bred by River. Unfortunately this dog got loose into D.E.L.A. Ray, and got killed. River contacted us, and told us that he would like to bring D.E.L.A. Ray out of C.H. Recoil, an imported dog. We agreed, and it was set. We traveled four hours, drive to their home ground. On the night of the show, Seed and Son approached me and said that they came to destroy us. Their dog is a monster and Amadeus will look like a puppy against him. My heart dropped to the ground, my second gave up before the show even started. Then I saw him, a big ass dog, but no turning back now. Rough calls release Amadeus on the defense. Here I decided I will not chase him, he must now do his own thing Amadeus knew if he lets go, he would surely die. He stuck to D.E.L.A. Ray like Bostic, not letting go. It went on for 23, then a turn was called on Amadeus, a handle was made, and out flying came Amadeus, meeting D.E.L.A. Ray in his corner. At 30 minutes it's all over, D.E.L.A. Ray just lying there, not even attempting to bite back. Rivers crew screaming to him not to pick up he will come back now. Well that never happened. They picked up an exhausted D.E.L.A. Ray after making a game scratch. Amadeus is now declared a four-time winner, in 45 minutes. After this show, a lot of excuses were made for the way D.E.L.A. Ray lost and it caused bad vibes between us and River, and it was ugly. We did go into River before, and the same thing happened. We hoped this time it would be different. It is a pity it had to happen to good friends. We did not want such good friendship to end like this. Maybe someday he can get his revenge. Anyway, Amadeus had no serious damage after the show. The word spread quickly of Amadeus's win. We were not even home yet, when the phone rang, another opponent, they want to come, and see us to contract a match. We agreed and the date was set eight weeks after DLA Ray. Amadeus was now fighting the last two with half mouth, and one cutter, and an injured leg, that don't seem to be healing, are not getting time to heal. CH Amadeus plus Heartbreak Kid? This match was into guys we never knew, but they were prepared to go into Amadeus, and had no excuses. We was hoping to get some one or two time winner at least but they were all hiding, so we could not be picky. We had to change the venue and date, two day before show, for it got leaked. Anyway, the weight was set at 46 pounds. Both dogs on weight. HBK was towering over Amadeus, but by now that does not matter, we know that Amadeus loves them big. Ha ha ha. Ref calls for release? HBK in control riding Amadeus, giving him taste of his own medicine. Amadeus don't like it at all. He tries his best working HBK pushing him all over the pit, but can't seem to get to him. Then HBK swapped a good defense hold, for a mouth hold, big mistake. Just what Amadeus needed? There it was, a big bleeder was hit on HBK, and he also lost the canine. HBK going down quickly, Amadeus in full control. At 30 minutes it was all over. HBK is not coming back at 35. His crew picked up a game HBK? Amadeus was declared grand champion? Amadeus now the second dog to make grand champion in the RSA in just 10 months, next to grand champion Rufus, who did not survive his grand championship match. Shortly after NR5 we were contacted by DGK, he had a friend that was bad mouthing Amadeus, and said he would stop Amadeus. He guaranteed, that if we don't pick up Amadeus at the one hour mark, he would die. That odds we can't refuse? The date was set. We agreed to meet in 8 weeks time. GRCH Amadeus plus Boyd G. Again, this was not the first choice, for the opponent was meant to be someone else. They could not make the agreed weight, and was replaced by Boyd G. 
Both were conditioned for Amadeus, for they were not sure that the other dog will make weight. Weight set at 46 pounds? Boy G's crew asked for one week extension. It was granted? Match day. Amadeus on weight, Boy G 45 pounds? Boy G's crew decides to go on with the match? Ref orders release. Amadeus on the ear, Boy G working hard to get to Amadeus. He then flipped Amadeus, showing great strength. First dog to flip Amadeus like that? Amadeus win knocked out of him, made him realize to go back to basics. Riding the stronger opponent till he tires? It worked. At 10 minutes Boichi tried to take Amadeus on the nose. Big mistake. Amadeus bites one bad bleeder and down goes Boichi. At 15 minutes another bleeder in the shoulder. It's all over at 18 minutes as Boichi's crew concedes the match. On his courtesy he stands the 10 count. The one we feared the most, ended the quickest. Grand champion Amadeus in just 12 months, and the fourth six-time winner in RSA, next to GRCH Sir Thomas 7X WPOR, CH Countdown 7XW slash 1XLPOR, and GRCH Talu 6XW. At number 6 he was 3 years and 6 months old. He showed us that he is worthy to breed with, and keep. Some say he's not worthy of the title, but that's just the haters, and their opinion, means shit to us. Very little breeding was done so far, but the pups already show some potential. Some were placed in good working hands. Maybe Amadeus could also get the ROM title someday? After Boichi the owners of the opponent that was scheduled to meet Amadeus instead of Boichi approached us, asking if we were willing to take them 12 weeks out. We told them we were looking for status dogs, and we will be glad to take them. Once they make him a status dog, we gave them 6 months to do so. If Amadeus is still able to go, we would take them. GRCH Amadeus plus Manir. Weight set at 46 pounds. Amadeus 45 pounds, Manir 46.7 pounds. We once again traveled to another province, and on their terms. They took us on a jolly ride. It felt like hours driving deep in the bushveld. On arrival, we greet an old face, and well respected dog man. He would be the ref. The competition wanted to start ASAP? We agreed and started way in. Manir is overweight? Forfeit taken, dogs washed, ref calls for release. Manir is a hard biting dog, and came out hard, hitting Amadeus in his corner. Amadeus did not know what hit him? Before he could recover, Manir was on his ear, working just enough so that Amadeus can't get to him. You could see this was going to be a long night. Manir was one of my late brother's breedings, and we never expected this breeding to be so good. But there is Zippo in the blood, and Zippo dogs are well known for their gameness, and bite. The first 20 minutes they were feeling each other. Amadeus seemed stupid to me, but it could be because he met a better dog this time. Maybe we made a mistake to carry on with the weight difference. Amadeus also started to run hot? Manir still in full control at 23 minutes. A turn is called on Amadeus, and Ref acknowledged it. The two dogs were still very much in hold, and watching us carefully. If we tried to handle, they clamped down. Finally, at 43 minutes a handle was made. Amadeus desperately needed it, but so did Manir. Amadeus to scratch, and what a good one. He looks much better now. Manir now on the defense again? Amadeus now getting a much better hold on the shoulder? At 50 minutes Manir lost the cutter, and Amadeus got a bad bleeder once again on Manir's nose. Seems like it's Amadeus' trademark now, if he gets the nose, it's his way of saying enough is enough, I want to go home. At 55 minutes Manir's crew ask for scratch to continue. We grant it. Ref orders us to handle the dog, and take them apart. Manir is fanged, and the bleeder seems not to stop. Manir makes a good scratch. At 105 Manir on the ground, the bleeder taking its toll. At 107 Manir's crew called it a day. Not a bad decision for he is done. Manir makes a very, very game scratch. One that would be remembered? For the first time Amadeus doesn't scream in his corner. This was a hard one. I don't think he will do another one. I'm proud of Amadeus. He also completed his courtesy? Thanks to good friends helping us to get Amadeus where he is, 
without you guys competing we would never have had the chance of making him what he is. Some will say he is not worthy, but the ones that had the opportunity to see him, and the small few that sees a good dog for what it is, whose opinion is greatly valued, for them he will be remembered. Dogs like Amadeus will always be criticized, for those people never had the chance to witness, or own a potentially great dog to be proud of. All they can do is criticize other dogs, due to their inexperience and stupidity. I feel sorry for dog men like that, for they will always just be stupid of envy. To talk about a dog like that, good or bad, means that a nerve has been struck, and should be seen as good attention. For they have something to say, 